All right, so this is an, another video for an add-on that I wrote. This one's called Render Time Estimation, and uh, it's pretty sweet. It does what it says. It renders it. It, <laughs> it estimates the amount of time it's going to take you to complete rendering. And it's you know rough, but it works. So you can, if you're using a build of Blender from SVN, then if you go to Add-ons, it'll be in the testing section here. Uh, so there, it's going to be under render and it's render time estimation so that's that I can just do the search to make it easier so that's what it is if you load the wiki if you don't have if you're using an official uh, version of blender you're going to want to have to pull it from the wiki page so it's on the blender wiki render time estimation just look for it there but it's enabling it just consists of clicking there and yay it's added on do note that it doesn't work on OpenGL renders so just worth noting all right, so close that out, and I've made a little render here, a little animation. Let's get rid of that. If I play it, if I play it back, it just does that. Nothing too exciting, but it just covers the full span there. So now we want to render it out. So escape, and we're going to render Control F12. Now there's two ways to see the estimated time. The most uh, simple way is if you press the N key in the while it's rendering, you can see here your total render time. So that's how long it's taking, and that's the estimated time based on the previous frames that it's rendered. That's the amount of time that the script estimates that it's going to take. So this one is going to take another two and a half minutes to finish rendering every frame that I want to have it finish rendering. Um, alternatively, if I don't want to show this entire panel because I don't want to show the entire panel just to see my render time, I can hide that. And there's a little button here that says Display Render Times. And click on that, and it shows up right in the uh, bidi bidi, Sorry, <laughs> it shows up right in the view here, and you can see the rendering happen on the time. And it's the same same sort of deal. Right now, there's two minutes left to go, and we're on frame 73 of 250. So we gotta wait for this thing to finish kicking out. And, uh, yeah. All right, so it finished rendering, and as you can see, uh, it took 2 minutes and 52 seconds total to render, so that's useful information to know. And, uh, so, and it, you know, it, I told you it was going to take 2 and a half minutes, a couple, a couple seconds into the render, and so the estimation's fairly accurate. And, uh, at least, at the very least, it gives you a good idea of what's going on. Anyhow, if you have any questions, you can pop on, find me on, put comments on, uh, here or Blender Artists or IRC or Twitter or you know I'm easy to find. Take care.